Welcome to another update video. In this video I will talk about some 2019 releases and some older stuff that I have not shown yet but been listening to a lot lately that you should check out if you don't have already done so. Here we go! First up we have this. This is the Lucifer Principle by Panzerfaust. It was re released in 2016 through Avant-Garde Music. The band is from Missoga, Ontario, Canada, and was formed in 2005. And I have, I had never heard the band before or during this. It was uh, solely because of the tour with Ueda. It was I was made aware of the band. Uh, and prior to the Lucifer Principle, the band had released three full lengths, two EPs, and one split. And in its essence, it's a black metal band, but they have a very thick guitar sound and drums are massive. And most of the time it's slow paced, almost more like Doom, but with the occasional speed burst. And the vocals are more on the death metal side of things. And the bass guitar is very audible. And the closest comparison I can think of is Bolzer. And this, uh, the Luciferian principle. Uh, contains four tracks. It's 26 minutes long. All information points to it being an EP, but I read somewhere that the band considered this to be a full length. And all four tracks are very good, but the standout track is the Johnny Cash cover of God's Gonna Cut You Down. If you've not heard the original, it's a two minute, pe two minute acoustic piece, but the Panzerfaust interpretation is an eerie black doom track that takes the running time over seven minutes. It's for far superior to the original, and my version is uh, the only vinyl uh, version available. Uh, it's housed in a single jacket, and you get the lyric booklet, and the record is on standard black vinyl. And the Eisenwald and avant-garde music still has copies left. Here's a snippet. This is this is the Sons of Perdi Perdition, Chapter One: War, Horrid War by Panzerfaust. It was released June fourteenth this year through Eisenwald, and uh, the Sons of Perdition: War, Horrid War has the same kind of production as on the Luciferian principle, Lucifer <laughs> principle. But this record starts off with a little faster pace. Overall, it's faster, except for the last track, the epic 13-minute long The Men of No Man's Land. And in the middle, there's uh, the music stops and in kicks an old recording of Silent Night before the music kicks in again. It's very unusual and highly effective and it sounds great on vinyl. And also, the, it closes out the record with bagpipes. And it contains five tracks and it's around... 31 minutes long, so it's just five minutes longer than the EP and all tracks are good except Crimes Against Humanity, which is just an interlude. It's okay, but it leads nowhere and my absolute favorite part of the record is the beginning of Stalingrad Mass and Grab where it's just guitar and bass and then the drums come in and on top there's a piercing sound of Stuka planes diving before the before he screams not one step back and all hell breaks loose. I get full body chills every time that passage. And it was released on CD and vinyl. It's housed in a single jacket and you get a thick cardboard sheet with lyrics. You also get a poster, picture of the band members. It's, uh, it was available on black vinyl and on clear and I got the clear. Because why not? And Eisenwald and Eisenwald and a lot of other distros, I presume, still has copies left. Here's a snippet.
This is Unor Theta by Shrine. It was released in 2016 through Season of Mist. And the band is from Reykjavik, Iceland. And the featuring members of Svarti Daudi and Ophidian Eye. And Unor Theta is their debut full length, although they did release some material under the previous name, Gone Postal. And it's hard to pinpoint the band's exact style, but is it black or death metal? Who cares? I would say it sounds like a mixture of Death Spell Omega, Morbid Angel and Isis. And the vocals are very angry growl, but mixed with high-pitched mental patient shrieks. And the drumming is excellent, pummeling at times and slow and steady when needed. And the guitars are fantastic, sometimes it's heavy death metal riffing and sometimes black metal tremolo picking. And some subtle melodies on top. Sometimes it's almost doomy, it's very good stuff. It contains seven tracks, it's about four minutes long. And all tracks are very good, but my favorites are Utopian Warfare, World and the title track. And my version is the fourth pressing, limited to 300 copies. Apparently the previous three pressings are identical. And it's a gatefold, and you have lyrics and credits on the inside. And the record is on standard black vinyl. And I think Season of Mist still has copies left. If they don't, I think they will repress it soon because it's very popular. Here's a snippet. This is Al Glemi by Miss Pyrning. Pyrning. It was released May 24th, 2019 through Norma Evangelium Diaboli. And the Miss Pyrning. Pyrning is from Reykjavik, Iceland. And the band was formed in 2013 and released their debut Söngvar Elds och Reidu in 2015. And Al Glemi is their sophomore release. And whereas Sungar was more influenced by Death Spell Omega and more relentless, Al Jimmy is a little bit more laid back and takes more of a Migwa approach. And I must admit, I don't like Death Spell Omega that much. And Migwa is one of my favorite bands, thus making Al Jimmy a real winner. And I completely understand those who are of the opposite opinion, though. In my opinion, this easily qualifies uh, on my year uh, and list top top ten on my year end list and it contains eight tracks it's 46 minutes long and once again all tracks are very good but the standouts for me are Orgia and the instrumental Helthin, Helith and Altsem 8 Sin Blomstradi and the title track and it's a gatefold and you get booklet with lyrics and all lyrics are is it Icelandic, but you get an English translation also, which is always nice. And the record is on standard black vinyl. And I ordered it from uh, their band camp and it's still available so you can pick it up. Here's a snippet. This is The Devil's Blood by Svart Konst. It was released in 2018 through Trust No One Recordings. It's a one-man band from Härnösan, Sweden. And there is another band called Svart Konst from Sweden to make things a little bit more confusing. But this Svart Konst is rooted in old-school Swedish death metal but with a heavy dose of black metal mixed in. And one thing that sticks out is that Rickard Törnqvist, Törnqvist the man behind the band plays every instrument and does the vocals. And the production is awesome and very impressive since Turnquist apparently did the mixing and mastering by himself. And 
The Devil's Blood contains 10 tracks, it's 45 minutes long. And there are no weak tracks, but on the ha other hand, there are, no, there are no real standout tracks. But there are some bits and pieces, like the heavy riffing at 340 in Merciless Death and 430 in to Ash and Hunger. And uh, the instrumental closer and Stelfull from the Brust is really good. And it's a gatefold. And you have lyrics and credit credits on the inside. And it was available in two colors, black and orange. And I got the orange one. And the Trust No One reco record still has copies left. Here's a snippet. This is Vermin by Inert. It was released June 28th this year through Neckbreaker Records. And the band is uh, from Stockholm, Sweden and Barcelona, Spain and was formed in 2015. And their first release was an EP called Obliteration of the Self. And the Vermin is their debut full length. And on the EP it was old school Swedish death metal, but on Vermin they have expanded their sound. The guitar tone is still rem reminiscent of Swedish death metal, but the songs are very varied, going from doom-like to fast-paced blasting. And they are still rooted in 90s Swedish death metal, but mix it up with the early US metal, death metal, with some almost thrashy riffing at times, but with a slightly modern production, but it's not overproduced at all. It's eight tracks, and two tracks are they sing in the Catalonia. And the last track is a cover of the band Animosity. It's 37 minutes long, and there are no really weak tracks. And my favorites are Kingdom of Sulfur, La Malura, and Vermin, New Breed. And the painkiller-esque drumming in the middle of a murder in me. And the album was uh, released on vinyl, CD and cassette, and I picked up the cassette. Limited to 50 copies, and I got copy number 43. The tape is black, and you get lyrics on the card. And you can order all versions through their Bandcamp. Here's a snippet. This is Monologues by Of Shadows. It was released in 2016 through Funeral Chance Production and Experiment 8. Uh, the band is from Gothenburg, Sweden. And Monologues is an EP and the band's first release. And the band plays black metal with a lot of focus on atmosphere, but no synths. There are some doom passages and clean guitar, but it's also full steam ahead at times. And, uh, this EP contains three tracks, it's 50 minutes long, and all three tracks, Lifeless Cold, They Gaze Upon, The Ash That Covers All, and In Darkness Resounding are very good. And the band released their debut for length in 2018 called The Darkness Between Stars, which I have yet to listen to, but it's supposed to be very good. And the tape is black, and there are no lyrics, but the insert is pretty nice. And you can order the tape from their band camp. And uh, here's a snippet. That was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.